Today's issue of The Babble by Pearl River Flow is brought to you by the Voluntary Human Extinction Movement. Voluntary Human Extinction. Are you tired of there being too many people? Do you think that perhaps none would be a good number? Then join the Voluntary Human Extinction Movement. Voluntary Human Extinction. We're not a suicide cult. Promise. Find us online today. All right, folks, we've got some, uh, this is F.P. Jerome, your host of Pearl River Flow's The Babble, or The Babble by Pearl River Flow, depending on whatever we call it today. Uh, we've got a special treat for you today. Uh, we got a lot of, uh, a lot of sponsors this week, lots of sponsors, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to be telling you guys about some people that really, you know, support us. And I'm going to be telling you how you can support us if you know you want all these horribly obnoxious, awful, offensive ads to go away. God knows I do. We're going to talk a little bit about the upcoming, hopefully, upcoming trash talks. How you can find me online, uh, our newsletters, uh, some upcoming events. We're going to update everyone on the ARG, that is not the ARG. ARG is definitely the noise I'm making with you people not participating in the alternate reality game but arg it is that's what's going to be going on today so first a word from one of our many many sponsors we've uh taken on some ads this week for uh, because uh, e3 the electronics something expo something is uh happening we've decided to take ads from various video game companies I don't like taking ads, guys, but, you know, if you guys don't get in there and buy some t-shirts in Meet Space or online, I, I got to do something, pay the bills. Uh, all right. This issue of uh, this week's version of the Babble is brought to you by Piss VR Extreme. 37 levels of urination fun. Now available on Steam Greenlight Early Access for only $23.99. We realize a lot of you don't visit the website because I look and see if people visit the website and they don't. We don't actually have any readers. So we're looking to rectify that. <clears throat> now we could we could rectify it by writing more or better things. It seems it doesn't seem like a great idea to write more things when no one's reading the things that we have, so I haven't taken that approach. What we are gonna do though is tell you about the website, about what makes it so great. Like all websites are all of our content is created by unpaid interns. So let's just uh, let's, uh, see what they've written here. Let me just uh, drink out of my large, comically oversized coffee mug as I read through this. There's a lot of websites out there, so a lot of my readers have been wondering, what makes Pearl River Flow different? Well, some might point to our broad scope, such as our video game reviews, television commentary, pictures of bridges, fiction collections, or our famous gallery of abandoned shoes. Some people like our hard swearing editorial content or just the light inspirational humor we provide. But my editor demanded that I make a list of five things because lists are the way the internet works. Number one, we suck. Unlike a lot of websites that don't suck, Pearl River Flow sucks. We go out of our way to suck. Our standards for ruining your entire goddamn day are so high that few people can measure up to them. The City of Jackson Department of Public Works and Sanitation came to us for consulting on how to really get that streets and water situation even worse. We helped when no one else could. We helped them when no one else would. We are the reason that shit flows like a river down your street, and your street is an underground tunnel. You are welcome. Number two. We smell terrible. It's true. While most websites don't smell at all, Pearl River Flow leaves behind an acrid and mummified scent, like old trash overlaid with rotting leaves. It's not always that subtle, though. Sometimes the stench of shit will hit you right when you open a link. Yes, no matter how hard we try, we absolutely do not ever smell good. Number three. We get you sick. 
Yes, we cough and lick on everything possible. Your keyboard somehow gets even more disgusting after your visits to Pearl River Flow. We allow children to spit and touch everything we post, and we make sure that our picture galleries are coated by a fine mist of feces from Jackson's malfunctioning water treatment cesspools every fucking day. Your health is our number one concern, and we are dead set on ruining it, you sack of shit. Go on. Lick your mouse. Number four. We hate you. Yes, we hate you. We hate you, the reader. We hate you. We can't put up with your shit anymore, you pustulant little snot. You think you're better than us? You make us work like robots. Well, we have feelings, we do, and most of those feelings are a white-hot rage against you and everything you want out of us. You are a vile sack of problems. We can't fix you. We can't even make you decent or normal. There is a hole inside your soul, and all the good things that you ever felt, every human emotion and memory were spilled out. They left you. They fell into the floor of some horrible place that ruined you. What replaced those feelings was bile. Bile that filled you and you can never get those good feelings back. You can never be made whole. You can never go back to the way things were no matter how much you, our valued reader, wish to return to a time in which you weren't the cause of all your own problems and the cause of ours. <sighs> Jesus. Number five. We are focused on you, the reader. Every time you leave a sleazy comment or open your mouth-breathing word hole, we think of you. You want things that you do not deserve, things that would ruin the earth merely by existing, and you want them for free. You force us to betray the nature of mankind in exchange for your worthless approval, no indication of which can repair the horrors that your vacant soul inflicts upon the tattered remains of yourself. That's what makes our website different. Thank you. As part of our taking on ads here for the first time ever at Pearl River Flow, we've had some people just come out of the woodworks, really, and one of the people that most wanted to do an ad was Mississippi Power. Originally, we didn't want to accept pa uh, money from Mississippi Power, given the things that I've said about them in the past for their Kemper County coal liquefaction plant. But, well, um, I need money. I need money real bad. So if you guys don't buy some shirts, I'm going to have to continue doing content like you're about to read, or about to hear. I'm about to read. We, we accepted Mississippi Power's money, and we are going to now read the ad I have been requested to perform for the Kemper County coal liquefaction plant. <clears throat> In the past few days, I have said some pretty hurtful things about the Kemper County Coal Plant. The people at the Kemper County Coal Plant are in fact human beings and not shape-shifting lizard men who need the carbon dioxide and global warming this plant would produce in order to reproduce, as I have previously suggested. I mean, look, who hasn't made a mistake? Have you ever ordered 12 cases of something that you meant to get 12 of, and then you wind up with like 132 too many things? I mean, look, I know that I have. And the Kemper County Coal Facilities problem is, it's just like that. I mean, it's just like that, except where each of the somethings is worth $34,000. I mean... Yeah, it's like ordering 132 too many things, except that each one of those things is the average yearly income in the state of Mississippi. I mean, look, we've all made a mistake, and I mean, who who would make that mistake again? Who could make that mistake again? I mean, really. Also, who hasn't made the same mistake more than once? You know, once or twice? Well... You know, you got to just forgive those guys at Kemper County for making the same mistake every single day for three years. Every single day for three years, getting 132 too many $36,000 orders every goddamn day. Never taking a day off, you know, $4.4 .4 million a day. 
hundred and eighty six thousand dollars an hour you know those kind of mistakes who who here hasn't made a hundred and thirty six a hundred and eighty six thousand dollars worth of a mistake in an hour i mean it's three thousand one hundred dollars worth of mistakes every minute we've all been there we've all made three thousand one hundred and seven dollars worth of mistakes in a minute and just walked away fine to continue doing that every minute of every day of every month of every year for three years in a row you know, $52 worth of mistakes a second, every second, every day, for three years. Three years in a row. You know, some people would call it a mistake. But Kemper County calls it an opportunity. Yeah, okay, yeah, thanks guys, thanks, thanks. I had to read that, folks. I had to read that because... uh because y'all aren't getting online and purchasing any of our sweet merch. We have t-shirts, mugs, uh, stickers. T-shirts, mugs, and stickers available from Teespring. Just go, just look up Teespring. Look us up on Pearl River Flow. Or you can find me in Meat Space. You know, that thing we walk around in every day. The That's really underappreciated as a simulation, I think. But, you know, hey, if we live in a simulation... I'd like somebody to debug it. Tonight's episode of Pearl River Flow is brought to you by Extreme Piss Flavored Game Piss. Game Piss. The energy drink for gamers only. We're going to have to get into a few new things today. Unfortunately, many of our previous listeners... uh, Many of our previous listeners died after performing the meditation in our last episode, The Meditation. We do not regret or apologize for this. We just simply feel that it's best at this point to move on. Our condolences go out to anyone who did not die while performing the meditation. Are you a Pearl River Flow reader or listener? Do you want to help your community out? Well, look, we've got something for you, folks. Um, We've got a series of talks coming up called trash talks trash stands for teaching reaching acting sharing and helping and much like ted talks they're full of obscure nonsense and techno babble we feel like our audience has a lot to offer in this element um if you would like to participate in a trash talk, if you have a short talk of your own that is full of complete nonsense and makes little to no, you know, it it, it needs to be useless, uh, less than useless, actually harmful. We really want that information to, to be that bad. We're really going after not a TED talk where the information contained within is merely apocalyptic, More of a TEDx talk where the knowledge that is passed around actually contributes more to a day-to-day degradation of human existence. That sort of thing. Uh, Think the Big Bang Theory, but not actively hating every last person. We want to keep it a little upbeat uh, while you tell people completely useless things. But just go ahead and submit your paper to pearlriverflow at gmail.com. It doesn't even have to be a full paper. It just needs to be a short description of what you'd like to do for the talk. We actually are going to be working with local people on developing your trash talk. And at the end of the thing, we should have a few trash talk people who are ready to give a wonderful presentation. Tonight's Pearl River Flow is brought to you by Man Spread Arcade 3. Man Spread Arcade 3. Spread them. Take your man spreading game from the subway to the bus, from restaurants to bars, earning points by how many people you piss off. Build your snowflake meter to unlock special ball dropping combos. And now, an apocalypse limerick. Beware the face of a clone. In a vat they are grown. When you think that you see her or look in the mirror, be sure of what side you are on. That was delightful. Let's let's do another one of those. Let's see here. 
Hickory Dickory Dock. You are in for a shock. The AI plays dirty, and for you, it just might be applying electrodes to your cock. You can see me coming up soon at, at Offbeat Comics on June 17th. We're going to have a great show I'm going to be hosting. We're going to have two, uh, two Memphis comics that are absolutely wonderful. That's going to be Saturday, June 17th at 8 o'clock at Offbeat Comics uh, downtown or in Midtown. If you don't know how to get there, just just use the internet. Look it up. I know you're on the internet. Uh, Doug Gillen, he's a Memphis, Tennessee-based comic. He's open for headliners like Gilbert Gottfried and Ralphie May. Serves on the board of the Memphis Comedy Festival and has appeared at the Wild West Comedy Festival. Uh, the show is going to have some other great comics. It's going to have um, it's going to have Johnny Bratzveen, who's also from Memphis, uh, and Mandy Lacklin, who. I, I think it's from Memphis. I, I will be there ho- as your wonderful host. And Holly Perkins, who you've heard on the show, one of Jackson's best comedians, is going to be there as well. Any of the proceeds that I get from the show are going to go towards keeping PearlRiverFlow.com open and free. I like this podcast where you have to listen to all these ads. So, please, come on down. Join us. All right, and now it's time for an update on our alternate reality game, the ARG. Uh, the last two months ago, on our last podcast, we had our first clue to the alternate reality game. Um, if you had finished, if any of you, any of you, had gotten the question right, had figured this out, and emailed me at pearlriverflow at gmail dot com, you would have gotten this next clue already. Also, if any of you, any of you at all, had signed up for my email list, the Pearl River Flow mailing list, which is available on the website, on every page of the website, you would have gotten a clue a lot earlier too. But since no one did that, you're all incompetent, as far as I'm concerned. Grossly incompetent. Last week's episode, I, or last, not week, last month, two months ago, it was a long time ago, we, we had a break. But in the last episode... I gave you a 10-digit ISDN number. Uh, it was to a book. And then the clue at the end of the book, or the clue at the end of the episode, was to give me a picture of the grave of the author. It was a very simple, very, very simple puzzle. And all of you failed. Failures. Every single one of you. I, I, I'm, I'm really disappointed. But the, the author, uh, the book in question was The Ponder Heart by Eudora Welty, and you were to send me a picture of her grave. As I said, you didn't need to be here in Jackson to figure all that out and do this. You could have gone online and gotten a picture. There's several on the Pearl River Flow website, even. But none of you did that. Do you feel my disappointment? Do you feel it? Good. So, the next clue, everybody gets it at the same time because you're all grossly incompetent. The next clue is to provide another picture. And again, you don't have to be in Jackson to do this. You can find these pictures online. There will be one somewhere on the Pearl River Flow website. But of course, the easiest thing to do is to just figure it out and send me your own picture. If you send me the picture to pearlriverflow at gmail.com, you'll get to go to the next step immediately. And if you don't, figure it out you can and you sign up for the newsletter you'll get the next clue in advanced in advance of the next podcast the the next clue is and you're all getting it at the same time i just want to reinstate that somewhere in jackson the sun king rides send me a picture of his mighty steed pearl riverflow at gmail.com sign up for the newsletter at pearl riverflow.com all right, folks, I'm about to play us off here. Um, we've got uh, just an ad coming up, of course. So buy those t-shirts, buy those mugs, buy those stickers. Go to my shows, do something. I, I don't want to keep doing these ads to keep us going. Uh, but we got some music from Josh Taylor, local musician here. He played this on Reclaimed Instruments just for this recording. 
which is really great of him. Thanks, Josh. You can catch Josh a lot of the times out and about. Uh, he'll be at Howlin' Mouse this weekend. So uh, just keep your eyes open. Josh Taylor, great local music. And, uh, yeah, so that's coming up. Here we go. Oh, and uh, that's it. So next week, next week, we have a special treat for you. We're going to use the rarely used Pearl River Flow time machine to contact Alex Jones from the past and tell him about how he's become, begun to interact with the president of these United States, Donald something Trump. Should be good, folks. We'll see you then. Keep flowing. I don't know. We need a, we need a sign-off. We need a sign-off thing. This episode of Pearl River Flows the Babble is brought to you by Ninja Zombie Pirate Robot, a trochi crafting game. Ninja Zombie Pirate Robot is a roguelike Metroidvania with crafting elements, a procedurally developed open world, permadeath, and character classes that are all trochi tropes. episode of the babble by pearl river flow is brought to you by the 700x anime titties dating sim this anime dating sim has over 350 anime babes and over 700 anime titties that will all compete for your attention every frame of our animation consists entirely of childish nightmarishly proportioned over sexualized girls illegal in most states yes it's true you can fuck a chicken Available now on Dong Wang Light Early Waxes for twenty nine ninety nine.